The Easter season often brings with it a renewed sense of faith and reflection. As the celebrations fade into memory, we find ourselves still grappling with the profound messages and themes that mark this time of year. One such theme that lingers is the notion of paradox. In his letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul grapples with a paradox of his own, the idea that strength can arise from weakness. It's a notion that runs counter to conventional wisdom. How can weakness be a source of strength? And yet, Paul's own experience illustrates this truth vividly. He speaks of a thorn in the flesh, a persistent challenge that torments him despite his fervent prayers for its removal. The nature of Paul's thorn remains unspecified, leaving room for speculation. Some suggest it could be physical ailment, while others point to external adversaries or spiritual struggles. Whatever its form, Paul's thorn serves as a reminder of his own vulnerability and dependence on God. It's a humbling reminder that even the most devout among us are not immune to hardship. In his letter, Paul recounts how he pleaded with the Lord three times to remove this burden from him. And yet, instead of granting his request, God responds, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. It's a profound statement that challenges our assumptions about strength and resilience. God's grace, it seems, is most potent in our moments of greatest need. For Paul, this revelation transforms his perspective on weakness. Instead of lamenting his condition, he learns to embrace it, recognizing that his weakness allows God's strength to shine through. It's a radical shift in mindset, one that requires humility, surrender, and a willingness to trust in God's provision. As we reflect on Paul's words, we're reminded that our own weaknesses need not be sources of shame or despair. Rather, they can become opportunities for God's grace to manifest in our lives. When we lean into our weaknesses, we open ourselves up to a deeper experience of God's power and presence. We discover that our limitations are not barriers to God's work, but conduits for it. May we embrace the paradoxes of our faith with open hearts and minds. May we learn, like Paul, to find strength in weakness and grace in adversity. And may we trust that God's power is indeed made perfect in our weakness, guiding us through life's challenges with unwavering love and compassion. We invite you to join us at Norwin Christian Church every Sunday in person at 8.45 or 10.30 a.m. or via our live stream at 8.45 a.m. For more information about Norwin Christian Church, please visit our website, www.norwinchristianchurch.com.